Hi there folks, my name is Matthew Palmer and let me introduce to you my new branch and detail brush set. Now these are a set of two brushes that I've designed with the SAA to do one particular task and that is to give you super fine detail, things like branches, fence posts or anything that needs that little bit of extra detail, think rigging on boats. Now a standard rigger brush is a long pointy thin brush that will paint thin lines but people find these quite hard to control. But one of the biggest problems with a rigger brush is that it very quickly runs out of paint and you're forever going back and forward to the palette. These brushes, two sizes, small and large, have a two-tone hair. Now, the large dark hair is a tapered point that gradually goes to the point with a very large body, as you can see there, which holds a mass of colour. This then feeds the colour from this large reservoir into this super fine tip so you can paint for long periods with both brushes and also you can create tapered effects going from thick to thin very easily. Let me show you. I'll start with a large one, give it a nice rinse in the water. I always wipe off the excess first. When you mix with the brush you use this large body of the brush and actually take some colour. This is natural brown I'm using here. I'm just going to mix it into the brush. So notice there was no water in there before. Just mix it into the brush with the brush almost bent flat. Now this is important to give you that nice reservoir full of colour. Then on the side, just wipe off the excess colour from the tip. So we've now got a fully loaded brush. This is the large size. And let me show you how you can do a very simple tree. We'll start at the bottom-ish somewhere down here. And I'll lay the brush almost flat to the paper and take it up and gradually lift up. Notice how you can go very quickly from thick to thin. So from this wide trunk to this super fine tip. And then you can just basically branch out with it. And you can continue to use this fine tip. Make use of the point of this brush. Hold the metal part, the ferrule of the brush. And just look how effective it can be for painting these brushes. I, th I like to tell people that this brush is more like a, more like a pencil. It's more like a drawing brush rather than a paint brush. Think of it of a pencil. That way you hold the brush very different. You hold it right at the tip and this allows you to get right in and do these super fine branches. But notice I've not had to reload the brush yet. And look how effective it can be for creating these nice branches. Very, very simple. So that's a large brush. If I reload it again with some colour, just pop a little bit of water with the colour, reload it and just look how far the brush will go without running out of colour. Really goes a mile. And that's the big advantage of these brushes. Tapering from thick to thin and creating super fine detail and having a nice loaded brush. So that's the large brush. If you compare the two you can see it's roughly half the size for the small brush. Again exactly the same here, the same concept. Thick to thin, a nice reservoir. Rinse the brush in the water, wipe it on the side load up the brush by bending it and creating the nice loaded reservoir. Wipe off the excess on the side from the tip. Then look how you can now create even fine branches. This is just like using a pen. Think rigging on boats, think branches, think fence posts, think birds. Let's paint a bearded chuff in the sky. Very simple thing to do. Again, a must for anybody that does watercolour folks, really a nice addition to anybody's watercolour box. And of course if we take some green, a little bit of water in the palette, this is natural green light, nice loaded brush and just look how you could create a grassy meadow, very simple. So you can use the brush for creating mass by holding it more on a flat angle. Then of course you can use it for adding very fine detail, grasses, nice for foliage. And there you go folks, hopefully that shows you the many advantages of the Matthew Palmer set of two branch and detail brushes.